Today I'm going to do a video on how to prepare and cook sea bream and I'm going to do two recipes with these lovely bream, these fantastic gilthead bream, a great size, great portion size. First recipe I'm going to do is pan fried sea bream fillets with smashed potato with coriander and lime. So that'll be recipe one. And recipe two will be sea bream fillets with parsnip and cream. Now I know that sounds mad but it really works. So first I'm going to show you how to prepare these. So take my bream and put them on there. Now this is a lot easier than it looks. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring the camera in a bit more and then you'll be able to see a little bit easier. So, must have a decent sharp knife for this. I use six inch Victrinox butcher's knives, about 14 quid delivered. You know, uh, English pounds, $22, and that's delivered. Brilliant, they're bulletproof. So what you do, you get your bream, check there's any scales left on it. So from the tail to the head, just descale it, nice and gentle. I mean, if you want, you could do this under running water, then you don't get them all over the place. Now, I've already done a, a sea bream video, and I did it with lemon juice, and olives but you know it didn't sit right with me and I thought you know I'd, I'd over complicated it you know peeling the lemon you know cutting into segments and at the end I just thought there's got to be an easier way a nicer way to do it I mean it was nice don't get me wrong but I think this knocks it out of the water so what I'm going to do I'm going to descale that other one swill them off and then I'll show you how to fillet them Okay, those beauties, they've had the Hollywood treatment. They are smoother than a supermodel's cheek. Right, now what we're going to do, like I said, we're going to fill it on. So you get a sea bream and basically put your knife in by the head, just tuck it under the fins there. Same with the other side, in, make those two basic cuts. Place it down. I place it to start with head to the right and just make a nick in the flesh nice movement there is no pressure on that knife just following that backbone and as you can see that's coming away brilliant so what we do I just nip them off like that and I trim my uh, rib cage off after I find this is a much easier way and I think you will you know trying to for the first time if you're doing it you know it's always tricky around that rib cage I just trim them up I've got a lovely fillet so what we do for the next one off with its head same again start it so you can see that backbone knife through one cut, knife through, two cuts and that is how to fillet a fish easy no complications you can almost see through that excellent so I'll trim that up and I should do that other one show you again see if I can get the camera in real close here show you what I'm doing put that there, put that there I'll have a little tidy up and I'll show you that one Okay, let's do fish number two. Give the tip of my knife a sharpen. So again, hold that fin back. Around the head and down. Same that side. So using the whole length of the knife, just follow it gently down that backbone. Like I said, no pressure. And what I do, is when I've loosened it off the backbone, you can see in there, keeping the knife horizontal, straight in, one confident move towards the tail, and one towards the head. And there you have your fillet, which we'll trim up in a minute. So this side, head off. Same principle, start it off. along that backbone 
see how nice and clean that bone's coming away down to the tail loosen it in one hand on pressure have a little pressure two there you have it you can almost see through that you can see my knife hand through that and then again trim off that rib cage and any bits of jagged skin just to make it look nice same with that one and then we have our four a lovely green fillets ready to cook easier than you think okay to stop this dish off I'm going to start by making the uh, warm smashed potato which I'm just going to get a pot of boiling water get some salt in there and I'm just going to put in my new potatoes these are charlotte you can use rate I'm going to get those in and boil those for 8 to 10 minutes then what we do we'll cool them down a bit we'll peel them then we'll add our olive oil our coriander and the zest and juice of our lime so they'll get going in the meantime I'll show you how to pan fry that fish so I'll get that on we'll check on them in a moment so the trick to getting that lovely crisp skin is get that pan heating you want it as hot as possible I'm just going to score only gently some lines into this the skin and that will stop it bunching up when it hits that hot pan obviously it'll have a tend to curl you know we put you in the oven you're going to tighten up like a ball so we put those slashes in a little bit of olive oil straight on the fish rub that in get it all in and we'll season it up some pepper and some salt like that I'm just going to put a drop in the pan this is really good for you you know we're not using tons of oil just give it a swirl round now that's been on full heat you can hear that oil going I should move the camera over you can see my potatoes go in there they want to go for about eight or ten minutes they've been in eight now I want them slightly firm because we're gonna smash them we're not gonna mash them so I want a bit of texture you know a bit of bite so anyway you put your fillets in and you'll see a bunch of so just press down on it for a minute or so so you get a complete contact so all that skin is touching that heat put the other one in same again you can see it tense up push it down so it gets a full contact again and once they're going you've got a proper contact it's all on the bottom of that pan I'm just going to turn that heat down to a medium and I won't touch them now you don't want to be touching those we want them to get you know slightly crisp slightly burned I mean you start moving them around you take the heat out of the pan and you start steaming them basically and then you won't get that lovely crisp skin so I'm going to check on the potatoes and I shall come back and check on those fillets in a moment so they've been in about three minutes we'll just have a look lovely that's crystal fantastic so give it another minute 30 seconds and we'll turn those over and the flesh side is going to take about a minute no more than that because you've partly cooked it all the way through as you can see it's going opaque up from the sides into the middle so I reckon that's 30 seconds these tongs turn it over come here you can see they are cooked amazing so we give that a minute get the potatoes out peel them and add all the other ingredients and we'll serve it up so you can see I've got my fillet press in there I've just crushed those I haven't mashed them I've used a fork I've put in my zest of a lime I'm going to put in the juice just the juice of half a lime I'm going to put in some oil nice olive oil get that in there finish it with 
freshen it up with some chopped coriander. I'm not going to go too fine on this. I love coriander, gives it a fresh zing. I'm going to put that in. Give that a mix up. Lovely, smells fantastic that does. Put the pepper in with the potato and then we'll plate that up. Okay, let's plate this up. Let's take a nice dollop of your smashed potato, nice big lumps in there. Over there, Get our lovely fish. Should be cooked to perfection. Put one, rest one on there like that, and the other one. I think we'll just put on there like that. And there's my finished dish: pan-fried sea bream fillets with smashed potato, coriander, and lime. Excuse the presentation. Right, just want to show you how that fish is cooked. Nice and crispy, that lovely potato. Let's just cut a bit of this and show you. Nice and moist, falling apart, flaking nicely. Come here. Beautiful. That crispy skin really does add another dimension to these fillets. Please give this a go folks and look out for recipe two. Thanks for watching. I'm going to eat this now. See you again.